Hello developers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar and today we are diving deep into a powerful feature of JavaScript that can simplify your code and make it more readable. Array Destructuring Whether you are a beginner or experienced developer, understanding how to leverage array destructuring can make your code more concise and expressive. I am happy to share with you that I have just finished writing an ebook entitled JavaScript A Comprehensive Guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. It is an ebook that covers all the important things about JavaScript. If you are interested in Vue.js, React or any other JS framework, it is very essential to know the basics of JavaScript. It starts with simple things and goes all the way up through more advanced approaches making sure that you know JavaScript inside out. Here is a preview of what's inside the ebook. The table of contents shows that it contains all new features and methods introduced since ES 2015. Similarly, you can also find a list of new features introduced in ES 2016 and so on. You will feel comfortable handling any JavaScript project after reading through this ebook. Wait no longer, grab your copy of ebook, start your journey to JavaScript mastery now. A quick favor, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any upcoming tutorials. Now let's get started. First, what is array destructuring? It provides a shorthand syntax that allows you to unpack values from an array and assign them to variables. Let's see the basic syntax of array destructuring. Let's suppose here we have a variable of colors. So const colors is equal to initialize an array and in this array we have red, blue and green color. Now let's suppose in your project you have requirement to extract these values in separate variables. In traditional way what you can do let's suppose const first color is equal to colors and now in this square bracket we will pass the index of this value. So here it is 0. Similarly for other variables as well. Second color here its index is 1. For third color here its index is 2. Now let's console log first color comma second color and third color. Now in the console we have red, blue, green. Instead of this we can use array destructuring. So here we can say const and then start square brackets is equal to colors. Now in this square bracket we will initialize these variables to extract the values of this array. So here we want first color, second color and third color. So in this first color variable, it's going to store the value present in zero index. In our case, that is thread. Similarly, this blue is going to be stored in this second color and this green is going to be stored in this third color variable. And here in this console log, we get the value red, blue, green. Here, we can even skip over values we don't need. For example, let's say we do not need this second color variable so remove it from here but keep this comma now save this we get error second color is not defined of course here second color variable is no longer available so let's remove this now we get red and green these two values let's remove this third color variable remove this from the console log as well now save we get the zero index value that is red. You can also set default values for variables. 
which will be used if the corresponding array element is undefined. So let's suppose in this array we have only red and blue. But here we initialize three variables. Let's say first color, second color and third color. Now let's console log all of these. Here we get first color red, second color blue, but third color is undefined. So here we can assign default value, let's say green. So if the third color is undefined in this array, it will assign the default value green. And in the console, we can see it has log green. Let's assign the default value for first color. So let's say first color's default value is yellow. So in this array for first color, it has found zero index value. In our case, it is red. So it's going to ignore this default value. But let's suppose in the first index, we have undefined. Now in this case, the first index is undefined. So it is going to assign the default value yellow. And in the console log, we have yellow for the first color. Array destructuring can also be used to swap the values of variables easily. Let's remove all of this. Now let's say we have variable let a is equal to 5 and let b is equal to 10. Now we want to swap values of this variable. So here we want to change value of a 10 and value of b 5. So to swap the values first let's initialize square bracket and then here we will pass variable a comma b is equal to then initialize an array now here for this variable a we want to store value of b so in this array we will pass b then in this b we want value of a next we will pass a now let's console log a comma b now here you can see it has first log 10, the value of A, and it has log 5, the value of B. The values are swapped. Let's see an example of nested array destructuring. The nested destructuring allows you to destruct arrays within arrays. Let's see. So let's say here we have variable const matrix and is equal to initialize an array. And in this array we have another array let's say 1 comma 2 and another array is 3 comma 4 now let's extract these values in variables so const here we are going to create same structure of array but instead of values it is going to be variables so here Let's initialize square brackets and in this square brackets we are going to have another square bracket with value a comma b next in the another array we going to have c comma d and it is equal to matrix uh, here we have syntax error it should be comma now let's console log a b c and d and in the console we get f1 2 3 4 the values of these variables this is all in this javascript array destructuring i hope you found this video helpful in understanding and using this powerful feature if you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover in future videos let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content like this